Frederick by Robert Southey. Where shall I turn me? Where shall I bend? My very way was one with toil and faint, of the fawning mazes of his wood attain my distant dwelling. A deep cry that rings along the forest seems to sound my parting near. It is the midnight hall of hungry monsters prowling for their prey. Again, oh, save me, save my gracious heaven, and fit to die. A coward wretch, my he's for trembling heart, my shake the limbs beneath her palsied burden. Is for aught so lovely in existence, Woods for drain even to its dregs the bitter draught of life? Dash down the lovely bowl, poor outcast slave, stand with a brand of vice and infamy. Why should the villain Frederick shrink from death? Death, the magic and with empty name that fills my inmost heart. Why, at the fort, starts the coat you fear on every limb? There are no terrors to surround the grave, and the calm mind collect that in itself surveys that narrow house. The ghastly train would haunt the midnight of delirious guilt, then vanish. In that home of endless rest, all so is keys. I might slumber there. Why then this panting of a fearful heart, this misery laugh, and life it dreads to lose its cherished torment? Shall the diseased man yield up his members to the surgeon's knife, doubtful of the core, but to ease his frame of fleshly anguish, the coward wretch, whose you cut soul can no human help, shrink from the best physician's certain aid? For better far to lay me down here on this cold, damp earth, that some wild beast seize on his willing victim. If to die were all, at the most sweet rest and head on the cold clot, sleep the sleep of death. If the archangels trump at the last hour, startle the ear of death and wake the soul to frenzy, dreams of infancy, fit tales for garrulous bedams to frighten babes, have me guilty, yet my mind can bear the respect of guilt, and the hour of deep contrition to the eternal look for mercy, the child of poverty, and his inherit of happiness. But if I ward upon the world, the world had wronged me first, it endured the ills of heart injustice. All this goodly earth was but to me one wide waste of wilderness, and I share nature's patrimony, blasted with all my morning hopes of youth. Dark disappointment followed on my waist, care was my bosom inmate, and keen want gnawed in my heart. Eternal one, one knows of the poor heart, even the bitter hour of Ludus Reveille had inly yearned for peace. My father, a call on thee, poured to thy mercy seat my earnest prayer, and with her peace and boldness of soul. Thoughts of comfort, of the afflicted heart tired with the tempest of its passions, rests on you with holy hope. The hollow hole of yonder harmless tenant of the woods bursts not with terror on the sobered sense. I have sinned against mankind, and then be that past sin, that made me what I was. In these extremist climes can one no more hurt to the deeds of darkness, at length here shall I rest. Although my heart be poor, the rains scant not through its humble roof. Would I wear again, the night is cold. What if in my wanderings I should rouse a savage from his thicket? Hark the gun, and of a fire of safety, I shall reach a la hut again, again by toil forced from the stub on earth my sustenance, and quick, o'er the guilt for never start alarmed, and of a well-earned meal, as felons gaff will it not shield me from the winds of heaven. What could purple more? A strength for me eternal one in this serene state, cleanse from my heart, so penitence and faith, shall heal my soul, my last days be peace.' 